met Chris Lynch? Yeah, we met at Skankfest. Yeah. So, no, do you know about his lore? No. What's his lore? Well, his parent, his great grandfather owned slaves. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. I'll give you the Strong points. lineage. I'll give you the bullet points. Owning lineage, alcoholic, um, has uh, the pregnant mother in a drunk driving accident. No. No, yes. stop it. That's yes. not a real thing, dude. That's real. That's not How do you real. live with that? How do you wear the shorts? I, you'd have to. I have to give up shorts for the rest of my life. He just gets it's drunk. too fun, dude. Shorts he, are too fun of he a just piece gets of drunk. clothing. I can't give the Bucky shorts. I can't. You're not allowed to. And wear the shorts. police, when the police came and said, "Sir, do you realize what you've done?" He said, "Yes, officer. I need another drink." <laughs> <laughs> dude, two, two. Is that real? You took two souls? No. Oh, f dude, <laughs> that would have been awesome. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hire somebody like that. It's inside joke. Chris. Chris yeah. is a. Uh, he's our guy, though. I. I do know a girl who killed her grandmother on Christmas Day. A Jewish woman. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Damn. And it, did, it, it didn't bother her at all. Yeah, she was like, "Oh my God, there's a concert in my town that I'm going to tonight." <laughs> I saw Jonah she, Hill at Coffee. She still <laughs> did what she was doing that day. If you. Somebody with your car, would you still continue on or would you cancel your plans for how long would you cancel your plans I'd for? I'd cancel my next, realistically, my next uh, month. One full month. Maybe two. I would name drop. I would I would just uh, continue to name drop quickly about celebrities that I met one time. Aziz and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I met, uh, yeah, I met Seth Rogen at the uh, Pacific Palisades Mall. Bet, but I killed my Jewish grandmother, so I'm in a different league. Yeah. <laughs> how did you, uh, how did she tell you that? In like a breezy conversation, we were both selling gym memberships, and Doing we were sex. just yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm close. Yeah, right. so I'm close. By the way, do you know I killed my grandma? Is that doing anything for your cock? Uh, now I got to reset. Yeah, God, no, that's doing the opposite. Uh, yeah, no, we were working at a gym together, and she just told me over like a healthy lunch one day. <sighs> gym people. Yeah. What, what was what gym was it? Equinox. Don't dox them. No, no, no. It Fuck Equinox. Equinox. I've been banned since. I've, I'm currently banned from Equinox. I'm really? Yeah. F uh, worldwide. You can't go get sucked off by rich gay guys? <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> Isn't that all it's for? It's like a big den, like a harbor for uh, just to get rimmed by it's rich gay guys. It's gay hangout. It's yeah. an actual problem. When I worked there, that was like a regular, like they'd have like weekly meetings and every week they'd be like, all right, so what's on the agenda? And gay guys, old gay guys sucking each other off was a regular thing. What do you do? Like, what's protocol for? Like, all right, hey, the guy Rusty is in the fucking thing. They sound the lunk alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Planet Fitness. There's no lunk alarm at Equinox. It's there's a very no, classy place. So, yeah. they, so they bring it out sometimes, depending on how severe the problem is. <laughs> what does the lunk alarm sound like? Uh, it's just a red alarm that goes off at Planet Fitness. Like if you if drop you, the weights, if you drop the weights, or if you're grunting too loud, and then yeah. then they serve pizza on Fridays and yeah. they have candy at the front door. It's a crazy thing. It really is. I've been to one where like uh, I never saw the alarm go off, but I've seen the pizza. Yeah, and I was like, what? And I, if you, you feel like it was like a it was a gym designed by like fat, you know, like a safe <laughs> fat that were my that were lying about yeah. <laughs> that were uh, elaborate yeah. uh, embellishing about their case uh, shit. it is indelible in the hippocampus search for it is indelible in the hippocampus we should go get kicked out of planet fitness i don't <laughs> well, one more time. Just, see how many times we get set off the lunk alarm before yeah. they kick us out for yeah. sucking each other off <laughs> <laughs> on the floor not even in the steam room <laughs> <laughs> grunting too loud yeah, yeah. yeah it's, a, <laughs> it's the meek mill fucking puff daddy audio video of getting fucked <laughs> get that uh -huh. By the way, have you guys heard that? Have you heard the Meek Mill Puff Daddy audio, the supposed audio? No, no I haven't heard it. No? Yeah. You might want to. Oh, God. I would. Uh, what well, is it? What is type it? in it is indelible in the hippocampus first. It's it's like the, uh, it's exactly what you think. I mean, if it's an audio mixer doing it, he just got me again. I've been known to do this from time to time is show people something that's totally fake. And oh, I'm yeah. too stupid to. I, I got into an argument with a, like a fake, like feminist on Twitter the other day. Like a. a, a Did you say me stupid? No. On t uh, like you, you realize that I, you yeah, yeah, in the middle of it, I was like, I'm a fucking moron, dude. I was like, I've been there. I was like, I'll wait till I knew I was gonna see this. I, was like, I do that all the time. Yeah, dude. I'm an idiot, dude. I just fall for. But every, <laughs> like everything, I think is now uh, a uh, like a fake video. Like I don't believe anything. Like anything that's sweet, anything that's racist, like anything that I see, I'm like, this is obviously they're all actors. It's a fake <laughs> setup. This is too good. Yeah, like the ones about like the racist movie that never happened, yeah. where it's like, get up, you fucking monkey. 
I don't have any bananas for you, monkey. It's like, this isn't a movie. This is an AI thing for to like catch white supremacists. Oh yeah, they do like, there's like whole channels that are designed to, like it's just designed to go viral where it'll just be like a racist lady in a park. Yeah. Like just spraying black kids with a hose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's and like racist white lady sprays black kids with hose and then everyone shares it and there's just idiots in the comments being like, this is America now. <laughs> it's fucking wild. Got you, mother. These two cops. But like, the gotcha. people that do it are like just guys that are, it's like a product, like a guy who like was a, who made like student films mm -hmm. who figured out like, oh, I'll just take advantage Ooh. of these algorithms and they create whole channels of just like clickbait. Yeah. Like Dar man videos, you know Dar man videos? This is one of the most watched things. I, I hate this how the screen Dar is behind man. me. Oh, and yes. I, I feel like you guys are pulling up things to make fun of me behind me. And <laughs> no. I don't know. It's no, like a dick no. like shooting cum on my head. It's like pictures <laughs> of the three first girls you fucked. I've <laughs> <laughs> <It's like, laughs> you know this, that I've actually moved on and I've actually found someone way better. <laughs> This is all fake. We don't want to click these, but just look at the thumbnails here. Oh, yeah, this is exactly this what it shit. is. Bullies shame poor kid for his disability. Yeah, dude, look at millions of views. These, this guy makes millions of dollars off this channel. Yeah. And it's and they just, they you can go on Craigslist and get hired. I want to get hired as an actor in one of these movies. A, a fake crisis actor. It's so boy, funny. boy in makeup gets bullied in new school. Wow. That's crazy. Dude, look at that face right there. I thought that was the disabled kid. I was like, that's not okay. You can't make that <laughs> Oh, this is Dar. Then I'm falling for Dar Man. I just this found this Dar just Man. Then I, this is the shit I've been uh, falling for. Someone should kill this guy. <laughs> of course, an Indian guy just go over here setting fires. Yeah. yeah. Like, fucking in, between, in between him beating his wife up, <laughs> <laughs> raping a girl in public with his buddies, <laughs> parking lot, raping a girl on the bus, <laughs> raping any girl with a skirt within 30 feet of him, <laughs> with his eight IT buddies crawling out of a oh, That somehow my algorithm has just turned into Indian guys beating the shit out of their wife in like the front in front of the village while everyone's like, yo, good for you. Good. good. <laughs> get her. You get it. her. Come on. Go harder. <laughs> Hit her as hard as you can't. <laughs> 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 they they use the, their wives as the punching yeah. fucking machine. Come on, he did. <laughs> Watching Indian guys fight is special, man. Just, uh, should I look up eighty Indian guy beating wife? There's yeah. so many of them. It's my whole algorithm on X now. It, that's all that shows up for me. It's it's so weird because like if you you know if you hang out with Indian guys, you just don't see them being so macho. To They're pussies. Them. They're not beating their wife up. I, I've never met an Indian guy once in my life where I'm like, oh, I'm afraid of this guy's violence. Wow. Oh, He's this head, is fun. Did he head butter? Oh, yeah. she's MMA Indians. <laughs> she, must, she must have done something real bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good B.O. Dude, how oh. ugly is she that they have to blur her? Yeah. It, w it was for refusing to marry him. No. Oh. He's, this, his, he's romantic. <laughs> he's, he's, broken, he's a broken hearted soldier. This guy's the most romantic man in all of India. <laughs> Pintar and his broken heart. <laughs> I wonder if that's like Indian military propaganda. We're like, look at how tough our guys are. They beat the shit out of their wife. They don't take no shit, dude. And then the ones that show up here are like, where is your computer? <laughs> look how heartless he is. He loves her. That's true love, like a real man. <laughs> this is like USA crime. That is like USA crime. But now nah, USA crime just heads everywhere. Mm. Yeah. Have you tried to look up USA crime in your spare time? No, they got rid of Live Leak, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I once I became desensitized to like beheadings and shit, it kind of like I was like, I'm I'm done. I finished I finished the internet. I was like, all right, I did what it was supposed to do. I now don't care about anything. I'm soulless. Yeah. So I don't really look at it anymore. But there was a, a little while there. I'm from the generation of like Rotten.com. Like that was one of the first three websites that I would regularly visit. 100. percent Yeah. Mm -hmm. E-bombs world. Rotten. Yeah. E fucked. You, e -fucked. Do you remember uh, Style Project? Shush time. Shoes time. Shoes time was shit, dude. With the shit, because you'd like jerk off to like they picked the perfect. Like they just spoke to me. Every video Shoes time yeah. picked was great, and then it'd be like black guys fighting with nunchucks, and then like you'd be jerking off, and then you'd have like just fun fights and fun like a dirt bike jumping into a house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dominican guy sets dog on fire. You're like, okay, I can keep on jerking off to this. Uh, this is going to be something good. And this, it's like a 112 pound, like meth addict, uh, crack star gets like butt fucked with like parts of a camera. Yeah. It would be like genuinely like mentally disabled porn. That was a thing that was just regularly on, like uh, you go on like Pornhub a few years ago, you just get watch a retarded girl get gang fucked by a bunch of black guys. And that was okay. That was Chris, just a category. Chris, can you go to lotioning.com? <laughs> Lotioning? Yeah. Just see if it's still a thing. Oh, man. They shut that down, dude. It was this black guy that was obsessed with lotion. <laughs> and he, would, he would film himself um, 
fucking like, see if there's really, a really, really the bottom of the barrel prostitutes, like really messed up prostitutes with no condom. Oh yeah. No. I, I remember I had a roommate. The reason I know about this, Foul Foul yeah. is his name. I, I knew about this because I had a roommate who was like obsessed with this guy. And he was like, well, what if you, and uh, one of the things that my roommate said was, um, he fucks these crackheads with no condom. And I was like, you know, he, my, my roommate was obsessed with prostitutes. And I was like, you know, you can't do that. If you fuck these, if you, if you go find a, do this yourself, you find a crackhead prostitute and fuck her with no condom. That's like really bad. You can't yeah. do that. Yeah, right. And he was like, um, yeah, but what if you could do it and you didn't get an STD? What? <laughs> What if you could fly with your arms? <laughs> Four bastard. Is this the guy who used to like, uh, I think I've actually seen videos of him. Who d no, no, no. The black guy. Black guy. Yeah, um, maybe you have. I don't know how famous he was. I only know about him because of, of He's got 79 subscribers, so famous <clears throat> is strong. I'm wa I've watched you try to do this exact process four times right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going back yeah. and clicking through, and it's I'm not going to work the fourth time oh, in a yeah, row. Yeah. I know yeah, for a fact. No, no, no. I, we're not signed in for some reason, but uh, oh, fuck. Can fuck. you fix it? Fuck no. Yeah, let me let me try to fix this. Oh shit. Yeah, I used to fucking just jerk off to rancid shit. You just went through everything. Like it wasn't even what I was like turned on by. Yeah, I know. You become like a mutant of a human. Yeah. Like uh, e fucked was fantastic. You've seen that? Yeah. Of oh, course. okay, okay. God. Of course. The, the Motherless. Yep. That's another one. It's all in the same cat. They always advertise on each other and you click over and I'm like, I know this is like. It's like a restaurant group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like part of the Marriott Bonvoy uh, you family. Get points. They're, yeah. they're interchangeable points. Yeah. To being, for being like a sick bastard. Ogreish.com. Ogreish. Ogreish was one where you could go watch people get like dismembered. Oh. Did you guys ever do the, um, the gauntlet? We, no. we did it on Legion of Skanks. And it's, it exists still to this day because I just looked it up recently. But back in the, the early days of it, it was like a very crude website, like HTML website. And it was 25 videos. And each video got more fucked up than the last one. Mm -hmm. So the first video, and you, if you made it through the gauntlet, like you, that's it. That's like just bra bragging points, you know? Mm -hmm. And the I would show it to comics. I would just sit at a, at a comedy club in the back and we'd just watch it, but like just to see if they, they could do it. But the first video is like the two girls arm wrestling and the arm breaks, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Then the second one is like Steve O doing the paper cuts in his oh, lips mm -hmm. on a jackass. Yeah. By 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 video seven or eight, it's like a baby getting hit by a train, and you're like, well, "How? Where's this gonna go?" We made it all the way through. The last video was like, um, is a famous video. It was the uh, the the guys, the Russian kids with a hammer and oh, like power yeah. drill who like killed that homeless guy in the oh, woods. Yeah. It was like a snuff oh. film, like a 13 minute long snuff film where they filmed them torturing a homeless guy in the woods. And, that should have uh, been number three. I could take that. Yeah, he's homeless. <laughs> That's yeah. Who cares? <laughs> That's You're fine. doing a service for society. Poor little baby didn't see the train coming. That, that homeless guy, he saw that coming a mile dude, away. The baby, it was nuts, dude. It's like cut the baby directly, and it was <sighs> wild, dude. It was wild. That's Man. like uh, I, I rolled over. I, I lived in Staten Island. I went to college at Wagner College in Staten Island. I rolled over one time, like right after, and we went right after like 9/11. Uh, I remember rolling over one day and seeing the the first beheading video on. Uh, I like woke up to that one day, and I was like, "What is that?" My roommate's like, dude, check this out. And it's like, ah, ah, ah. And I'm like, no way. I can't it's like the it. ISIS videos? Yeah, yeah, like the original yeah, ISIS. And they, 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 were the, they were the first ones to get like fucking 6K cameras too. Like they, the quality was so nice, those first beheading videos. And the music was, for all intents and purposes, pretty fucking cool. Was it Papa Roach? No, the <laughs> Who was it? It was Alien Man Farm. <laughs> it was you remember the ISIS music? No, dude, play the ISIS music, dude. It, it kind of, it kind of thumps. It was dude. like Razor Ramon's entrance music. <laughs> <laughs> like, dun, 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 dun. You knew ISIS <laughs> was coming. <laughs> ISIS is here. <laughs> boom, boom, ding, boom. <laughs> dude, ISIS's theme music. It's it's aesthetically pleasing. Really, like, you would want to listen to it if it wasn't so haunting, and if I didn't just associate it with Toyota know. Tacomas. <laughs> This is not it. That's a horrible song. That's ISIS. That's, not, um, that's the African beheading. Union. No, just do the ISIS anthem. I said it right there. Anthem? Oh, that's a playlist. Do they have multiple ISIS songs? Yeah. Yeah, it's this shit. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting ready with my friends. <laughs> I think I'm about to get shawarma. <laughs> yeah, bro, this is fun. Just getting ready to go out for a night of the town. Yeah, I'm going to go to Abu Dhabi, fucking fu turn some white girls into toilets. That's some demonic ass hand writing there. Yeah. That language. Aries. They could get more people on their side if they didn't fucking have the same writing that they use on death metal t-shirts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They look like Sangra Sugabogs. Yeah. <laughs>
They yeah, I know. Like, they could, they're they pretty pop. Are they popular, you think? Uh, you've still, been over there, right? What, uh, to ISIS? I yeah, you've been over to ISIS. Afghanistan? <laughs> <laughs> Where are they at? I don't know. Where is ISIS located? Yeah, they're central probably, I think Af- I think Afghanistan. Afghanistan? I mean, if you've been to Dubai, they're probably there, right? <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe. I've never been to Dubai. I've never been in the Middle East ever. Oh. Okay, okay. That's wild. I thought uh, I, th- I thought like every, once you go to like a store, they're like, all right, you're going over to Dubai now. No. I every wish. comic. I was, they asked me to do, uh, a few years ago, they asked me to do like uh, for the, like perform for the troops, yeah. which is just so funny to me because it would be, I mean, really awful. Like uh, the, the troops would not appreciate my sense of humor, <laughs> but they wouldn't let me go because uh, I smoke weed. Uh-huh. And they were like, yeah, we got to drug test you, and there's no weed. And I was <gasps> like, well, I'm gonna... and it wasn't even, they weren't worried about me smoking weed. They were worried about me smuggling weed and giving it to the troops. What? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> but they, they not understand how weed works? Yeah. <laughs> like, no potheads like, oh, man, I want to give it to the I troops. I can't wait to give away all my weed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck out of here, dude. They're gonna love this. Yeah. <laughs> so that means all those, tro- all those people who perform for the troops are non-potheads? They're nerds. No shit. Yeah, dude. Yeah, they're not heroes. Who's famous over there for doing that? Who's like the? Is it? I don't know. I know my buddy Nate Bargatze uh, did a lot of performing for the troops. So he doesn't smoke weed. No, he's a good guy. No, nope. nice guy. Should we watch preparing to rub? No, nah. no. Nah. I, I signed in and everything. Go, you got it. I signed in and everything. <laughs> I got it already. <laughs> this is on my personal account. Wow. Yeah. He had to reset his password. Okay. You, get to- you know. He's still in there. Okay. okay. Wow, this is that body. So this is like the non part of it on YouTube. Yeah, this is the trailer that gets you over the website. Wow. Oceaning.com. Oh, right, oh. Me, cause... Okay. Yeah. okay. That wasn't that bad, dude. Lotion. That's not bad for a crackhead hooker. Some of them get yeah. pretty bad. Yeah. She looked pretty good. She looked pretty goddamn good. This one's a minute long. Another lotioning girl. Oh, we got a new. Oh, we yeah, good. dude. These are beautiful crackheads, and that should be pointed out. Gotcha, she gotcha. still has all her stuff. Oh, she put it on her face. That's not how lotion works. <laughs> 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 oh, She's fucking, <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> Yo, you suck. Oh, <laughs> Rub it in, you moron. Yeah, it's going to sting your eye. You <laughs> oh, retard. my gosh. She looks like my cousin, Jorge. <laughs> yeah. Look at her. Look at her, look at her mustache. Oh, damn, girl. Dude, just shave your mustache. Uh, she needs to concentrate, focus on the small things. Did somebody? Sh- I want somebody to behead her right now. <laughs> Chris, was the yummiest prostitute you ever had? The yum? I've never had a prostitute. You never had a prostitute? No, not yet. Okay, let's get him a prostitute and do a prostitute review once a month. Okay. Chris. Yeah. Chris. <laughs> yeah. A little book review. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey, what's going on? You the girl for the month? Well, the prostitutes in Chris Amsterdam prostitute. are. The it, it's not like you want to almost go to the prostitutes in Amsterdam and be like, you don't have to do this. You're like. A 10. You're a 10. Well, I, it makes no sense. I can't wrap my head around it. I feel like there's. Any girl who's that hot, why wouldn't you just fucking just marry some fucking dude who's gonna just pay everything for everything? You don't gotta, you're gonna make more, it's financially a better decision to just fuck one, not even a rich guy, like a middle class dude who yeah. will just pay for everything for you. There's no way these. You don't have to destroy your, just to, just to have a, a sob. It's crazy. Or whatever. The, I, I, you went to, I went to well, the red light district. What was the prostitute who's, who was destroyed? All of them? <laughs> Is there a famous is there, one? Is there one who was like, you can't look at my pussy because it's too mangled or something? Oh, it's, it's like Harvey Weinstein's cock. It's like an <laughs> anthill of a pussy. <laughs> Chris is searching for the greatest prostitute. I went to, uh, I went, I was in Amsterdam. I, I lived there for a month one time. Oh, wow, dude. It was a mess. Wow. Falling got, downstairs and shit. It's, it's just too much. It's, it was so much. I was, you know, eating wet mushrooms all day. I went <laughs> to a wet mushrooms, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> wet, soaking wet. Uh, but I went to, like, a, to buy a prostitute one day. I was like, all right, I'll go. I want to see. You know, they have those little caves? Yeah. So I went into the cave, and I'm down in, like, this dungeon, like, really. And I'm you know, tall. I'm, like, hunched over. She's like, okay, it's $200. I'm like, all right, let me go to the ATM. She's whoosh, right across the face, slaps no. me. She's like, you came down in my hole without having money on you. She's like, you're lucky I don't have a pimp. He'd kill you I right would have now. started coming right there. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> can I give you 180 because I was so fast? <laughs> Damn. And I just left. and just was like, fuck it. I'm just going to jerk off my hotel room yeah. instead. That's too scary. That's scary. Yeah. Like yeah, some, Chris, don't ever get a prostitute. I, 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 I wasn't planning on it. Just get a nice girlfriend. Okay. She, yeah. she, and, then, and then pay her enough. Pay her the same <laughs> yeah, amount yeah, as a yeah. prostitute. You probably get really far. Yeah. Well, then you get the guys who are like, well, if you're bringing a girl on a date and you're paying for it, then you're paying for it anyways. You ever those heard that guys, argument? Those guys. You, you say that. 
I don't, <laughs> do I? Yeah. No, I don't, that's like you have a whole you have a whole lecture about that. But my PUA. Yeah. Tactics, my PUAs. Yeah. That's a secret. That, that's you call a, me and leave a voicemail about that. That's on release, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> We're not supposed to be talking about that. I'm Chris just, spit some pickup artist game right now. Um, hey, you dropped something. And then she says, what? <laughs> and then I say, our conversation, let's pick it back up. <laughs> Chris, tell kidding. me I'm some deep truths about women. Deep truths about yeah. women? Um, How they ain't shit and whatnot. What do you got? I don't got. I don't got like they ain't shit. What do you got? He's a lover. Um, Chris, what's the most profound thing you can say about a woman right now? There, um, there's the the having the the imbalance of like. Um, you turn your mic up. The, the <laughs> imbalance of uh, maybe like showing them less attention, so they're like chasing you, in that sense. Like a 70 30 sort of thing. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? That's Chris, pretty universal, right? Chris doesn't give him any attention. They're hungry for it. Two days a week. If I had a girlfriend, we'll. I'll, they follow him around. <laughs> yeah. I have do. a harem. Like, yeah. For scraps. I don't I don't actually have uh, girl, girl advice. You was, like I'm not a player. Or anything like that. I'm not. I that's good advice, like that. though. Lewis yeah. is going to say the guys that say that they, the, the, the incel shit where it's you pay for p anyway. What is it? Oh, yeah. They're, uh, yeah, those are, that's exactly it. It's just some straight up incel shit those guys don't have girlfriends and yeah, then yeah. they want to go get a hooker yeah. which i'm not against getting a hooker i thought yeah. I, I, I have no issue with it at all yeah. i have a i have a joke in my act specifically a very long bit about getting ripped off by a hooker in las vegas yeah. and uh yeah I, you know i'll support the ladies of the night one they're, one they're, they're working one profound thing i've noticed is girls if they're like politically like very left wing or something if they're really into you you, you can say anything and they don't care. Not the N-word. You can say the N-word. Yeah. In the bedroom? Yeah. Wherever. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> you crawl out of it. You, <laughs> you come in dribbling a basketball in blackface. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if they're really into you, then it, they don't care. They don't yeah. I've ex from my personal experience. Really? Did you come out? Did you come around the corner? Were you like eating a chicken, <laughs> eating a chicken wing with like uh, spinning a basketball on your finger? <laughs> I, I didn't go that far. Freestyle but. rapping because then, then you might piss them off. Yeah, yeah. 